Cooking al fresco, just part of the daily routine in rural Cambodia. Things have been this way for years. There aren't many homes with an indoor kitchen, but some culinary traditions have been causing problems. So villagers like this are being encouraged to change their ways. Cooking in or outdoors isn't the point. It's what goes in the pot and gets served up that's the issue. These villagers don't need to be taught how to cook, but they can learn how to put more nutritious meals on the table for their families. There's nothing special about the ingredients over there on the table. They're all things which are readily available to rural Cambodians. This is really a lesson in nutrition, and it's particularly relevant to parents of young children. What they eat between the ages of six months and two years can make an enormous difference to their long-term health and development. The main issue in Cambodia is not a lack of food overall. Diversity of food supply is critical. And that's why the increase in the vegetable supply and uh, providing aquaculture inputs will really help in the sense of diversifying the diet and providing the right range of nutrition that will ensure um, food security. A nutritious porridge like this can help a child grow and stay healthy. Villagers were in the habit of feeding their infants watery rice soup, which didn't contain the variety of ingredients they needed to thrive. Vegetables, oil and a little protein from fish, milk, nuts or eggs make for bigger, stronger children. This little girl used to get sick easily and wasn't putting on weight. Now she's the picture of health. All it took was a few tweaks to the family's recipes, which go down a treat. Changing eating habits takes a coordinated effort from national government to the smallest villagers. The nutrition element of the FAO's food security project relies on the cooperation of three different ministries and funding from the European Union. Providing follow-up support and advice is the key to make sure the lessons learned at the cooking classes are put into action. The community nutrition promoters are volunteers from the villagers taking part in the project and they can advise families on a personal level. It's all about making the most of what the villagers have already got. No special ingredients, no food supplements. The emphasis is squarely on sustainability. And the early signs are very encouraging. If these children can get a good start from what they eat when they're young, they stand the best chance of reaching their mental and physical potential. A little extra in the pot could mean a brighter future for the whole country. Hot, hot, hot.